Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to go through some of the options that you have when you schedule a meeting in Microsoft Teams. If you find this uh, video useful, uh, then you know what to do. And with that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here we are just within the calendar section of Microsoft Teams. And what we're going to do is actually create um, a scheduled meeting. So I'm just going to click on this particular section here and we're going to add this meeting in. So the first thing that we're going to do is just call this a test meeting. And um, it is basically for this particular time period of 10.30 until 11, which is fine. It's not for repeating. We're not going to invite anyone in at this stage. Um, and we have the channels that we can add here as well. So I'm just going to throw in um, my general supply chain team channel. So therefore, everyone within that team is invited to the meeting. I don't need to type them out um, individually here. Okay, um, with that done, we also have the scheduling assistant, which I won't necessarily go into uh, in this video, but I might cover that in a separate video in the future. Okay, we can add any locations or notes, but we're just going to um, click send and send that one out. Okay, so our meeting is being scheduled now um, and it is just here. Now, I think there's still a bug in this system where you actually have to leave the calendar and then go back into the calendar in order for this meeting to actually appear as something that you can join. It just Otherwise, it just hovers there um, as if it, it has still trying to actually schedule the meeting. So what I'm going to do is just flick over to the team section and then flick back over to the calendar. And now we can see that we can join this meeting. So I'm just gonna click on join and I'm going to turn off the camera and the audio and click join. Now, my meetings are in their own little pop-out windows and that's because I'm on the new meeting experience. Um, if you don't know what that is, um, then go check out this video just here um, and that shows you how to enable this function if it is available to you. Okay, with that done, what I can now do is basically just resize this um, window accordingly. Okay, so now we are inside a meeting here um, as the creator of the meeting. Um, but what we want to do is actually show participant pane here is actually prevent people from just joining. We want them to join um, or, and then go into a lobby before they actually join the meeting and then you can approve people in, etc. Okay, so what we'd want to do in this scenario is actually close this meeting because we don't need to be in there, we'll just leave the meeting. Um, what we want to do is actually click on the meeting itself rather than join. Um, and then click on the meeting options at the top here. If we give that a click, it's going to open up the options in our um, browser. Okay, and what we've got here is who can bypass the lobby, people in my organization. And we have a toggle option. We can say people in my organization, trusted people, are only me. So you can choose who um, goes into a lobby, who can bypass the lobby. So I'm just going to say only me. I'm the only one who can bypass the lobby. L always let callers bypass the lobby. And this for me is not enabled. Um, okay, so you might have that option to be able to toggle that on and off. And if so, great. Um, announce when callers join or leave. I have that as a yes, so that gets seen. And then, um, you have the ability here to basically see who can present. Now, this is everyone. It can be people in my organization. It can be specific people or only me. So if there were two or three different presenters, you might choose just the specific people, um, or you might say it's only me as the organizer, or it might be people within your organization that can do it rather than everyone. Um, generally, for me, I'm just going to say it is people within my organization or specific people. So I'm just going to click on people within my organization and click save. With that saved, I can go back into um, the meeting here and now click join. Now with inside this meeting, um, I can go through and join it. 
the people here, um, when they join now in the people pane and the participant pane, they'll go into a lobby and then you approve them into the meeting from the lobby. It gives you a little bit of additional control over your meetings. Um, so if you're a teacher, for example, and you know, people can join the lobby 15 minutes before the lesson, um, then you can basically put them all into the meeting uh, once it actually starts. And this gives you control um, in the sense that people can't just join the meeting straight away and potentially take over control of that meeting. Um, when you want to um, have a very strict agenda, for example, and you want to be in control of that agenda, then you kind of want that lobby put in place to prevent people from doing just that. Um, and guys, it is as easy as that in order to actually enable a lobby inside Microsoft Teams. Hopefully you guys found this useful. If you did, um, you know what to do and I'll catch you guys in the next video.